Hi everybody, this is Catherine, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm gonna do a pretty long video on how to optimize your Windows 10 for gaming for the new year 2021, so all the new feature that you can activate, deactivate and stuff like that. I have 12 tweaks uh, that I will show you on this video. So the first one is the uh, driver. Make sure that you update your driver. So in your search bar, write update. And in the Windows update, make sure that you click the check for update and you have the latest version. So always make sure that your Windows is up to date. Really important. The second thing is go on the internet, go to your motherboard um, builder. Like um, for me, it's giga gigabyte. So I'm going to write X570 uh, master. This is the model of my uh, mobile. So you click on it go to support you have pretty much the same option if you have an asus one uh, whatever brand msi and etc etc make sure that you select your driver and us so for me it's windows 10 64 bit so for an example the audio really important take the latest one one from real tech so this one is from this year uh, another really important one is the chipset for me, I'm not a big fan of updating my chipset on the uh, on the Gigabyte website. Normally, I have an AMD processor, so I just go on the AMD website and I download the latest version from their chipset. And you can do pretty much the same thing with Intel. Uh, you can also update your LAN if you have some issue, but normally with Windows update, you should be fine for this one. And the last one is the BIOS, so make sure that you update your BIOS. Uh, it improves a lot of different stuff. Uh, compatibility with memory, so if you're using XMP profile, it will also uh, help you with your boost clock. Uh, a lot of different stuff that, like, you can see it in the description over there for each uh, version of the BIOS with what thing that you, they improve or they add new features sometimes. So, really important to do that. The last one that you really need to uh, update is your GPU driver. So make sure that you update your GPU driver. So if you have Intel, AMD or uh, Nvidia. So for an example on Nvidia in the GeForce experience, you can go to driver, checks for update, and you're gonna make sure that you have the latest driver from Nvidia, as you can see over there. AMD have pretty much the same option in their, uh, like some, in their drivers. So this is pretty much it. The second uh, tweak that I will recommend you is don't use any antivirus. Uh, it's causing a lot of issue for gaming, so don't use that. Just use the one from Windows and make sure that it's always updated. And don't do crazy stuff on your computer, you know, email, don't open .exe random file and stuff like that. And you will be fine. The third tweak is the energy plant. A lot of uh, people have issue with that, uh, mostly on laptop sometimes it's weird you plug your laptop in the wall and it, the the behavior of the laptop is like you're, you're on your battery so you don't have like the maximum boost from your cpu gpu and stuff like that so really important here right energy so you have power sleep setting go to additional power setting over there and me uh when you install the chipset from amd you're getting a uh, preferred plan from amd so for amd for an example you can use balance or high uh, performance i did a couple of tests between both and uh balance is fine for me i'm pretty i'm doing pretty much the same thing in sitting bench when i benchmark my uh, cpu so that's why i went for balance but normally you will just have the one from windows so go with something like balance or even high performance if you want to make sure that you everything run as faster as they can so really important and don't use for sure power saver, saver because uh, your CPU and GPU will not be at 100%. Uh, you can also do the same thing on your GPU. So right click here, go to your control panel. If you have an NVIDIA, you can pretty much do the same thing on AMD. So in the manage 3D setting, you can go to power management mode. Make sure that it's at prefer maximum performance. By default, it will be at optimal power, but you want to use this one. And pretty much, uh, yeah, it's automatically saved after that. So this is pretty much it for the power saving. After that, uh, game mode, the fourth tweak, right, game mode. Sorry, game mode over there. Make sure that game mode is at off. Uh, I did a lot of tests with the game mode, like 25 different game with benchmark and stuff like that. Sometimes it helps you a little bit, like 2, 3 F FPS improvement, but mostly you're getting like random stuttering, random lag because of that. So for me, game mode should be at off. 
also the xbox game bar make sure this one is at off and all those capture stuff from windows background recording and recorded audio and i also recommend like don't use any overlay discord overlay nvidia amd overlay make sure if, that everything is at off it's taking resources <clears throat> and sometimes it's causing like stuttering lag and stuff like that the only overlay that you can really use it's like msi afterburner or other program like that because you just want to see like statistic uh, gpu cpu uh temperature your boost clock and uh your and then the, the amount of fps that you have on your game so msi afterburner is pretty much fine when you uh use that so the next one the gpu scheduling just write gpu in your search bar Open the graphics setting. Make sure that the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is at on. You will need to restart your computer after that. I did I did a couple of tests with this one. Honestly, it's more like working on entry and mid range level computer. Uh, you also need like uh, the series 1000 or something recent like the 2000 3000 series from Nvidia. Not too sure if it's working right now with AMD. So uh, yeah, so you will gain like three to five percent boost in your FPS uh, when you have like an entry or mid-range level. For sure, if you have like um, 2080 Ti with I don't know a Ryzen 3900, you will not see any difference with this one for now. But they, Microsoft uh, told like the developer and stuff like that, they are working on like the way they manage the GPU with gaming, and it will be better uh, over time. The next one is the appearance of your window. So just write appearance, open it. So this is more, more like if you have like a really old computer or laptop that really struggling with gaming, go with adjust for best performance. So you will like remove all the, those animation, transparency and stuff like that on Windows 10. You're gonna make sure that all your resources are concentrated to the game, not Windows. So this is a way to getting like more like to, to save some RAM and save maybe some GPU power on your computer. After that, just press OK when you're done with it. The other uh, optimization that I will show you, it's about your mouse. So just write mouse here to see the mouse setting. Go to additional mouse option. Go to pointer option. Make sure the enhanced pointer precision is unchecked. You don't want any acceleration in your mouse. Uh, a lot of like uh, driver from like Logitech, uh, Razer and stuff like that, you can do directly on your driver, but not all the people are using those kind of mouses. So really important, just uncheck this and it will help you a lot with your muscle memory when you're gaming. Like if you're playing a first person shooter, you don't want any acceleration because it will kind of fuck up your uh, <laughs> muscle memory. So really important, uncheck this one and press OK. Uh, the nine one, nine. The, the display setting, click display setting over there, go to advanced display setting and the refresh rate. A lot of people, uh, when they're, uh, speaking to me in my uh, Twitch stream, by the way, it's Kefren TV. Um, they're like, yeah, I just bought a new uh, screen and it's 144 Hertz. And I'm asking like them, are, are you sure that you're running it at 144 Hertz? And when they look at windows, they're running it at 60. So really important. Windows uh, add a new feature on the uh, Windows 10 to make sure that you're seeing your refresh rate over there. So really important to make sure that you're running the uh, maximum refresh rate from your screen. Also, you can see it in your uh, driver graphic card driver, but look at it. Make sure that you're running it because a lot of people are not doing it. Now we will look at the disk. So go to this PC. So for an example, on the C drive, right click on it, go to properties. Uh, the disk cleanup, pretty important to do like each month or two months a cleanup. So make sure that you delete your file over there. And also you have the cleanup system file that you can do. So it will run, make sure that you it erase like uh, uh, Windows update cleanup, temporary files and stuff like that. You press OK, you press delete and everything will be clean on your drive. You can do that for your C drive normally. All those files would be in your C drive, but you can look at other uh, drive if you're using it for other stuff. And the 11 one is the disk optimize. So the disk optimize, it's pretty much the same thing. You stay in properties, you go to tool. After that, you go to optimize and defragment drive, click optimize. And now depending on if you have an SSD, NVMe, or you have like a, an old hard drive, 
that will be will have some fragments so for an ssd it's pretty it's pretty easy you just click optimize and windows will optimize your ssd so everything is fine if you have like a no school hard drive uh it will analyze your uh drive and after that it will defragment it so if you see zero percent fragmented you don't really need to do it for me it's pretty much uh it's okay but if you have like a no drive that you're, you're running for the past i don't know eight years probably you will have a lot of like percentage of fragments are so really important to optimize it and the latest one is overclocking. I have dedicated videos. I will not explain you how to do it and all the steps, but it's pretty much, it's pretty easy. You can overclock easily your GPU without touching voltage. So it's pretty easy to do. And it's not, it's, it's not like you don't have any like really risk about it. So you can upgrade a little bit your core clock, memory clock, change your fan speed. Uh, it, with, for example, a program like MSI Afterburner, you can use a lot of different programs on the market, but it will help you with your FPS. I recommend my guide to, to do that. Also, uh, on my, for example, my Ryzen 3900X, uh, I did an overclocking on my in the BIOS. First of all, I reduced the amount of voltage that uh, my BIOS was applying on my CPU. So it gave me, first of all, <laughs> I, I, I generate less heat, like 10 degrees less heat, and I, I got like a better uh, boost clock on my CPU. So this is the, the, those kind of st stuff that you can do on Ryzen. It's working really well. Also in Intel, you can do stuff like that. So, but use dedicated video. It's really important because uh, if you go in your BIOS, you don't want to screw up your CPU, but it's stuff that you can do with your hardware to optimize it. Uh, one more thing also, you, you have like small tweak that you can do on a computer that can help you a lot. For an example, if you don't have an SSD, this is something that can help you a lot. You install SSD, install Windows in it, and install like your main game in it. It will help you a lot. Also the RAM, if you have like 4 gig of RAM, 8 gig of RAM, uh, a nice small upgrade for your RAM can help you a lot with stuttering and issue that you currently have with your computer. So that's about it for the guide, guys. If you have any questions, just come in in YouTube section. Post me anything about like tweaks about Windows 10 or uh, upgrade for your computer. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.